Okay, there's one. There's one. Where are you? It's still on. It's still on. Come on, bite it again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Second time today. They bite it at the boat on the side of my kayak. Fish are here. There's another one just jumped. Fish are here. It's super hot today. Almost 30 degrees Celsius. Fish are active. There's a little bit of wind. This is your, this is the best condition, man. Oh, there's a fish jump right beside me. Coming for you. Just wait. Okay. Oh, there's one. Oh, I missed it again. I think I'm a little bit too deep. Although this area is really flat, five feet, but I still want to get closer to shore where I had lots of bites. Okay, now it's now it should be good. There's one, there's one. Oh, let go. Fish on. This time it's on. Good. Yep. Doesn't feel big. Good one. That's a good eater size, eh? <laughs> this is what I catch it on. Just a Google Eye jig um, and a Berkeley Power Swimmer. That's a perfect eater. But I'm gonna let it go. Just catching fish for fun, not keeping any. All right. Awesome. got a fish Woo! back to back I just released the last one I caught and, and I caught another one <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh yes smaller guy Ooh. hooks out Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Okay, let you go. Let's see how many I can catch today. Eh? I've only been here for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Caught three already. The first one wasn't captured on camera, but this thing I'm telling you guys, I've been, yeah, I've been saying this is good. This is walleye candy right here. All right. <laughs> Get back there and catch more. I have another one on. Nope. Nope. I mean, they're here. What's going on with this bait? Okay, I'm gonna re-rig it. It's pretty much destroyed. I cast it out and let it drop. It's only a meter deep, right? So, but I want to let it sit there because when the bait is falling down, it attracts fish from, you know, surrounding area. I'm just going to let it wait and then now I retrieve. Make sure you're making bottom contact. You having much luck? Oh, I've been catching them. They're just all over here in this shallow area. Yeah, well, that's what we noticed. We're in six feet of water over there and she caught four of them. Yep, yeah, they're just in shallow. Is that a camera? That's a GoPro. You're on, you're on YouTube. 
<laughs> Say hi. <laughs> What are you catching, pickerel or jacks? Uh, just a uh, walleye. Walleye? Yep. Right on. They're the good eating ones. Oh, there's one, there's one. Fish on. Woo! Yeah, just a little guy. Oh! Uh, hook popped out. But you, you guys saw that on video. That counts. <sighs> they are jumping. Oh, there's one. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah, fish on. This time I waited a little bit because I'm using a bigger bait. Oh yeah. It's it's fun fighting with this uh, ultralight rod. Nice. Nice. Wow, that's a good keeper. I think I'm keeping this guy. That's a nice looking walleye. Right on the lip. There we go. Hi, Mayo. What is this? There's weight? What is this? I have a fish on. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> Smallest walleye of the year. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel like a thump, like a bite. I just suddenly felt weight. Here we go. Too small to keep. See ya. Is that a fish? Yes, that's a fish. It's been a while. Doesn't feel big though. Oh, it's a fighter. It's a fighter, look at it. Can you see that in the water? Oh, it came off. It came off. Oh. Nope, that's not a fish. Oh, it's it's on <laughs> another small one another small one <laughs> yep not a baby but a little guy see ya that's I caught seven eight already lost count Hey guys, so I came back to Pasqua Lake and it's a little bit wavy, but I think my kayak can handle it. Oh, there's a fish just jumped there. See that? That's a carp. In theory, this shore is facing the wind, so all the, the nutrients, the bugs, the, the small fish, the minnows are being pushed up to this bank. And the walleye, the predators, supposedly should follow. Yeah, we'll see. fish man oh 
What was that? Show Fish on. I was just trolling my uh, swimmer, my swim bait. Wow, I didn't expect that to work. What is it? Feels good. Feels good. Oh, feels really good. Oh, yeah. Feels really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's an eater size. That's, a, that's awesome. It's good while I look at this. Just choked it. Woo. Look at that guys. I can't believe it. That's like a 20 incher. That's a 20 incher. Two pounder. Just choke that bait. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. Hooks out. Take a look at this walleye. Beautiful. That's a beautiful walleye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Need to take a picture of that. <laughs> well, I guess that trolling method was a success, eh? Okay, please don't go away. I want to take a good picture of you. Oh yeah. That's a nice walleye. That's a nice eye. Wow, that's a good one. I'm gonna put it on a stringer. That's a good walleye. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Woo! Awesome! Yo, that, that was probably the biggest walleye I pulled out of this lake, Pasqua Lake, this year. <laughs> I'm just so excited. We got a fish, we got a fish, we got a fish, we got a fish. Is that a snag or a fish? Oh, that's a fish. We got another one. Another fish. No, is that a fish or a snag? It's gotta be a fish, come on. Yes, that's a fish. I think that's, oh yeah, that's a fish. Another walleye. Sir, okay. Oh, let me grab you. There we go. That's an eater size. Okay, put it on the stringer. I'm eating good tonight. I'll probably do a fillet, uh, fillet in, uh, tutorial. Show you guys how I fillet my fish boneless. Yeah. So guys, I just got back from the lake. I caught three walleye, kept three. I'm just gonna show you how to uh, fillet this fish, clean this fish with no bone inside the meat. <clears throat> so first, you wanna get a sharp knife. I got this uh, fillet knife made by Mustad. I, I, I bought it from Cabela's. And uh, yeah, here I'm gonna show you how to clean it. So first, you want to make a cut behind the, the two fins right here. So you want to make a cut on the angle, just like, just like that, right? Okay, so now you want to stick your knife in, 
on the back. You can feel the backbone. You don't want to cut through it. You want to you want to just run your knife on top of it, just like that. So once you pass the first the first dorsal fin, you can run your knife through and then keep going. Here you don't want to cut through it, right? Um, and you flip it to the other side. So you kind of just do the same thing on the other side, right? So again, find your two fins and make a cut on an angle like this. Like this, okay. Then you stick your knife in. Just run it along the, the spine. So once you pass through, again, this first dorsal fin, stick your knife in. There you go. Just use down pressure. You don't want to cut through um, the backbone. You just want, to, want the knife to take its natural course. There you go. Now you can, you can cut it. Just like that. So now, now what you need to do is just kind of peel off the meat, the fillet, off of the rib cage, right? So just run your knife um, slowly. Okay. Yeah, you can feel that. You can hear that rib cage, right? You don't want to cut through it. So when when you have a sharp knife, it's easy to just peel off that meat. Okay, here, make a cut. Okay, there we go. Just keep running our knife. Just like that. And you make another cut here. Here we go, first piece off. Now just do that to the other side. There we go. Okay, two piece. So this is just garbage. I'll just throw it in this uh, plastic bag. So now you want to take the skin off of the meat. So here you just um, run your knife on an angle. Make a make a first cut. So you, your your left hand can hold on to this piece of skin here. Okay. And now you just slowly run it on an angle. There we go. So there's your skin, there's your meat. Skin goes into the garbage. You want to keep the meat. Okay. Repeat it on the other fillet. There we go. You know, at this point, you might think this is done, but no. Uh, there's still some pin bones along the middle here. This middle line, you see. So, yeah, I just uh, make a cut here and kind of just run it along. Now, you can take off this strip of meat. Okay. 
You know, in winter time, when I do ice fishing, I keep this strip of meat. Uh, I put it. I put it on a jig. Uh, sometimes the burbot really like it, but today we're not keeping it. So yeah, that's your first piece of boneless walleye fillet. Let's do that to the other side too. So you feel that pin bone, make a cut, cut off the strip. There you go, another piece of boneless fillet. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to clean the other fish that we caught tonight. And I'll show you the end result. So 10 minutes later, we're left with 10 pieces of boneless walleye fillet. Now I'm just going to put it in um, ice water. And I'll put some salt in it to wash off the blood and the fish slime and other uh, impurities. And then I'm gonna marinate it with salt, black pepper, and uh, vegetable oil just to marinate it in the fridge overnight. And I'm gonna fry them tomorrow for breakfast. It's the next morning. This is my breakfast. Look at this walleye. <clears throat> it's crispy on the outside, it's soft and flaky on the inside, that white meat. Looks awesome. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. That's so good.